Number 54. From the equilibrium concentrations given, calculate Ka for each of the weak acids and Kb for each of the weak bases. And then we have letter A. So in this case, we have ammonia, which is NH3, and they told us that with this solution, we have a concentration of OH- and a concentration of ammonium, right, NH4+, and they're both the same number, 3.1 times 10 to the negative 3 molarity, and then our ammonia concentration is 0.533 molarity. So the first thing is, well, are we going to be a weak acid or a weak base? And that comes from either making hydronium or hydroxide. Now, in this case, hydroxide was stated. You have an OH- concentration. So if that's the case, NH3 is going to be a base. And usually if you do see NH3, it will be basic, okay? So now the next thing that I should do is just write a balanced equation. Remember, my acid or my base is always in water when I'm doing acid-base reactions. So in this case, NH3 is going to be plus water. Water is the solvent for acid-base reactions. And since NH3 is not on my list of six strong bases, we are at equilibrium, right? It's not going to dissociate 100%. And then remember, bases will gain a hydrogen, the acid will lose one. So that's why if this gains a hydrogen, it becomes NH4 positive. So that's why that's there. And then if this one gains, the H2O has to lose a hydrogen. And that's where the hydroxide comes in. Beautiful. Now I'm just going to write down what the concentrations they told me. So for both NH4 plus and OH minus, I have 3.1 times 10 to the negative third molarity, 3.1 times 10 to the negative third molarity. And then for my ammonia, I have 0 0.533 molarity. Okay, so we just have to solve for a Kb because we are a base. B stands for a base. Well, Kb, just like any K value, is always concentration of products divided by concentration of reactants. Now, let me just get rid of this because there is a mistake here, guys. I'm sorry for that. This should have been, remember, no liquids or solids allowed, not gases, in any of my K, uh, KB or KA equations, right? Or any K for that. Whoa! I don't know if you heard that, but... Uh, I think they just built a NASCAR uh, racetrack right next to my house. Nice. Anyway. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's also a reason why for H2O, we don't have any concentration values because H2O is a liquid and no liquids are allowed. So that's why it's not going to be included. So let's write our equation. Well, KB equals something divided by something, products divided by reactants. And remember, when you have two products, they're going to be multiplied together in my KB expression, not added. So I'm going to have these three, and then let's fill them in. So we have NH4 plus times OH minus divided by NH3. Okay, let's plug in the numbers. KB equals... There's that division line. Let's maybe put in my three numbers. Products divided by reactants. So 3.1 times 10 to the negative third. 3.1 times 10 to the negative third. 0 0.533. And I'm going to get my KB value. And this should be quite small because we're dealing with a weak base. 3.1 times 10 to the negative third times 3.1 times 10 to the negative third divided by 0.533. Uh, and if we care about sig figs, it would be two sig figs. So 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. And that is the KB value. And it is pretty small, which means that at equilibrium, you should have most of your weak base 
Weak bases or weak acids do not like to dissociate. These ions are much less than what you started with, and that's what makes a weak acid or weak base. So, thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you next time. All right? Love helping you guys out, and I'll see you later. Okay, bye-bye.